good morning today we will discuss about the equation of a circle okay let's consider a circle with center c with ordered pair ab okay and now let's take a point on the surface which is pxy okay so that we can say that cp is the radius of the circle okay now through this p if when we draw a perpendicular line two perpendicular lines they meet at a point q so that a right triangle is formed here let's take that right triangle C A B this is Q this is P X Y so when we consider this horizontal distance it is nothing but X minus A because this whole distance is X from that A to be deleted and this distance is nothing but Y minus P so the radius of this circle can be found using Pythagoras theorem r squared is equal to under the root x minus a sorry r squared is equal to x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square okay this is considered as the equation of a circle where a B makes the center of the circle and R is the radius of the circle. So when you see this question, A is the point 3 0 and B is 7 minus 4. Find the equation of the circle that has AB as a diameter. So look at the diagram. A is a point on the circumference of the circle. Similarly, B is another point. So that AB is the diameter which passes through the center. Okay. We have to find the equation of the circle. As per our formula, X minus A the whole squared plus Y minus B the whole squared is equal to R squared. We know to make this formula we need the center of the circle and also radius in this question center of the circle is C which is the midpoint of AB if you consider the line AB C is the midpoint so center of the circle is same as midpoint of AB center of the circle is same as midpoint of AB you know how to calculate midpoint using midpoint formula what is that the average of x coordinate and the average of y coordinate or x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 so average of x coordinate is 3 plus 7 by 2 and y coordinate is 0 plus minus 4 by 2 that is 0 minus 4 by 2 we get it as 5 and minus 2 as center. So this is A and this is B. Okay. Now we need the radius R. The radius R is this distance. Where C is 5 minus 2. So the radius R is same as the length AC. You know how to find the length of a line segment using the formula root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Which is equal to under the root x2 and x1 y2 and y1 we get 5 minus 3 the whole square because our points are A and C plus 
minus 2 minus 0 the whole square to under the root 8 so the radius of the circle is root 8 and the center is 5 minus 2 so now let's find the equation of circle x minus a the whole squared plus y minus b the whole squared is equal to r squared that is x minus 5 the whole squared because a is 5 plus y minus b that is minus of minus 2 plus 2 the whole squared is equal to root 8 squared that gives us the result as x minus 5 the whole squared plus y plus 2 the whole squared is equal to 8 as the equation of circle find the center and the radius of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 8y minus 40 is equal to 0 so don't be surprised by seeing this equation this is in the form of the general form of a circle or the expanded form of the equation of a circle it is nothing but x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 this is known as the general form of a circle we don't need to hurt it okay where minus g minus f is considered as the center and under the root g squared plus f squared minus c is the radius it's a bit difficult to remember now so no need to remember we will use our normal formula which is x minus a the whole squared plus y minus b the whole squared is equal to r squared but if you want to use that formula we have to convert this equation into that form that means this is an expanded form we have to make it as simplified okay so if you take it as x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 8y minus 40 equal to 0 now let us arrange the similar terms together we don't have like terms but we can take similar terms like x squared and 10x so we get x squared plus 10x plus y squared minus 8y minus 40 is equal to 0 now when you consider these two terms here this is in the form of a completing the square if you use completing the square we get the answer for this so use completing the square we get x squared become under the root x plus take half of 10 as 5 the whole squared minus 5 squared recall the concept completing the square plus when you consider this one here also we can find completing the square so we get it as y minus 4 the whole squared minus 4 squared minus 40 is equal to 0 so that implies x plus 5 the whole squared plus y minus 4 the whole squared minus 25 minus 16 minus 40 is equal to 0 so when you do this one here we get minus 81 take to right side we get it as x plus 5 the whole squared plus y minus 4 the whole squared is equal to 81 is same as 9 squared in the form of x minus a the whole squared plus y minus b the whole squared is equal to r squared so here what is the value of a minus a is 5 so we get a as minus 5 and minus b is minus 4 so we get b as 4 and r square is 9 square that implies r is 9 
hence we get the concept center you know center is ab which is minus 5 4 and radius is 9 as result so always the expanded form to be converted into the simplified form using completing the square and get the remaining result and this is a question test our real knowledge actually so here you find three points p minus 1 4 q 1 6 and r 5 4 which are on the circumference of the circle we need to find the equation of the circle and you know to find the equation of the circle we require the center of the circle and also the radius of the circle here both are not mentioned so let's see how to find the equation of the circle okay so to do this question first we are going to find out the center of the circle using the concept of the perpendicular bisector of the chord so if you consider a circle and once you make a chord you know what is a chord when you draw a chord and draw its perpendicular bisector draw its perpendicular bisector so draw a chord and its perpendicular bisector similar like if you join PQ it's a chord and draw its perpendicular bisector which passes through the center it is one of the important properties of circle the perpendicular bisector of the chord passes through the center similarly if you make another one chord and its perpendicular bisector that also passes through the center and you can see both the perpendicular bisectors meet at a common point isn't it that point will be the center of the circle the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisectors of the chords will be the center of the circle so if you want to find the center of the circle we have to find out the perpendicular bisector of PQ and also QR. Both meet at a common point. That point will be the center. Okay. So let's find out the perpendicular bisectors and the center find out perpendicular bisectors doesn't mean we are going to draw something find a line stands for find the equation of the line so find the perpendicular bisector stands for find the equation of the perpendicular bisector okay so we are going to find out the equation of perpendicular bisector of pq for that let's find the midpoint of pq midpoint of pq is the average of x coordinate and that of y coordinate that is minus 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 0 and 4 plus 6 by 2 10 by 2 5 that is the midpoint of pq that means midpoint of PQ is a point on the perpendicular bisector. Isn't it? Midpoint of PQ is a point on the perpendicular bisector. So we got a point on the perpendicular bisector and now we require the gradient because you know the point gradient form which is y minus y1 
is equal to m of x minus x1. So you got now x1 and y1. Now we have to find out m. For that, use the concept of perpendicularity. You know if two lines are perpendicular, product of their slopes or gradients is minus 1. If two lines are perpendicular, m1 multiplied by m2 is equal to minus 1. Remember that concept. So as per that concept, here PQ is perpendicular to its perpendicular bisector. That means if the gradient of PQ is M1 and that of this line is M2, then we get M1 multiplied by M2 is equal to minus 1 as both are perpendicular. We use the concept of bisector. With that concept we got midpoint. Now by using perpendicular we get gradient. Okay, so understand that by using bisector we get midpoint which is a point on the line and using perpendicularity we get the gradient. So now we can find the gradient of PQ. Gradient of PQ is you know change of y by an increase in x that is gradient when two points are given here you don't try to use the gradient using differentiation that is not applicable so we get y2 minus y1 that means 6 minus 4 divided by x2 minus x1 that is 1 minus minus 1 which is equal to 2 by 2 that is 1 therefore gradient of perpendicular bisector is how do you find the gradient of perpendicular bisector as we know m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 m2 is minus 1 by m1 so m2 is minus 1 by m1 that is minus 1 by 1 which is equal to minus 1 so the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is minus 1 and a point is 0 5 therefore equation of perpendicular bisector is y minus y1 is equal to m of x minus x1 substitute the values and simplify it we get the equation as y is equal to minus x plus 5 as number 1equation of first perpendicular bisector is y equals minus x plus 5 and the equation of second perpendicular bisector is y is equal to 2x minus 1 so here we get two simultaneous equations solve these two simultaneous equations using either elimination method or substitution method you get the value of x and y as 2 and 3.
okay so that the center of the circle is x y which is 2 3 okay now we have to find the radius radius of the circle as the center of the circle is 2 3 now it's very simple to find the radius either you can find this radius here or here all the things are same let's find this radius so the radius is same as the distance between 1 6 and 2 3 so radius is under the root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square that is 2 minus 1 the whole square plus 3 minus 6 the whole square which is equal to under the root 1 square plus minus 3 square 9 which is equal to root of 10 units hence the equation of circle is x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square is equal to r squared that implies x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square is equal to root 10 square root 10 square is same as 10 so the equation of circle is x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square is equal to 10 we will discuss more problems about equation of circles in the coming classes thank you